this is Gilly Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value for, from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling good because today our quote of the day is, in preparing for battle, I have always found that plans are useless, but planning is indispensable by Dwight Eisenhower. This quote absolutely puts planning into perspective. You must have plans to reach your goals, but more often than not, our plans are useless and the universe has better plans for us to reach, reach our desired destination than we have. But we must take what we currently see as the right steps in order to advance ourselves in the right direction towards our goals. You don't need to have everything planned out and know the whole way to your success from the beginning till end before you even begin. All you need to do is to know the next step or a few steps that you need to take to advance your goals. We all understand by now that it is the mindset with the right actions that moves one forward or backwards in life. And if you want to win at your goals, then you must take the right action. But what type of actions are the right actions to take? It's not always clear to us. So most people do not take any action because they don't know what the following actions should be. They don't have the whole path mapped out, which is fine. But even if we could have the whole map path mapped out, then it would turn out to be wrong. There are many surprises and delays and inconveniences and new responsibilities and new people that will enter our life while we are on the path towards our goals that can change completely our path. So for this reason, knowing the whole path towards your success is not necessary nor is it relevant because it will more than often likely change. It's fine to start without having a complete plan in place. Taking any possible step from the place that you are currently at and then seeing how far this step has taken you towards your goals is a great way to begin to gain momentum. New opportunities will show up only when you are in the game, not when you are looking at the game from outside. For example, I wanted to buy a nice apartment in an enclosure by the sea in Tel Aviv, but it seemed that there was no apartments for sale there. And I later learned that all of the houses or apartments that were for sale there were actually sold to people already living inside the enclosure for their children. I then found one apartment that was for sale and it was absolutely the worst apartment in the whole enclosure. But I bought it. It was selling for a hefty price, but only half of the price what other apartments and houses in this enclosure were selling for. And it had no view of the sea. And it was a really dark apartment, but nice enough to own. So I bought it. And then this opened up, uh, opened me up for many opportunities that I could have never imagined possible beforehand. And with time, I bought another two apartments in this enclosure that are in great locations. <laughs> you have to be in the game to see the opportunities that are not available for people from the outside. You need to commit to taking the next best step that can move you forward, but you don't need to know the whole way. This will make you more open to different opportunities that are or may seem unimaginable from an outside perspective. You must enjoy the process because no one can promise you that you will reach your, de your destination. It is really up to you and the amount of commitment and flexibility that you show. When you don't have expectations, but what you are doing is right for you and you are following a plan, which may be vague, to get you to where you really wanna be, then you will see immense progress. That's right, even an, a vague plan is good. For example, a person moving to a new location for their career will not be able to plan everything in advance to the finest details before they go. Otherwise, they will just delay their departure and perhaps miss many opportunities and even perhaps decide not to go because it may seem too hard. So you must jump into the water to move forwards. You may have vague plans, such as which neighborhood you plan to live in, which schools you want to send your kids to, and what your overall goal to do there is. But without physically moving there, without physically making the move, you cannot know everything in advance. You must have faith that the right way will reveal itself for you. 
you must have commitment, but even if you do have incomplete plans and you take the jump and you are there in the water, then you will see a, things from a different perspective and different opportunities will show up for you. Since your dream is not something that you have ever com accomplished before, there will definitely be gray areas in your plan. You will be in, in uncharted territory. You should try to fill in the blanks with either talking with a mentor or reading books on the subject or um, doing programs, but you can really never fully know the whole plan in advance. Your personal path will be carved out by you step by step by walking down the path itself, in, which is unknown at times. It is okay to feel fear, but the fear should not stop you. It is normal to fear fear when you go in and do something that you have never done before. You must be courageous to keep moving along the path no matter what other people uh, say uh, or think about you and your ideas. This is your life journey. It's not theirs. They cannot understand your choices or your path because it is not theirs. It is yours. Everybody has a different perspective to life. Follow yours so that you will be the one who will feel fulfilled at the end of your journey and not anyone else. You must overcome fear of uncertainty and go out on the adventure to achieve your dreams. And it is an adventure, as I shared with you in the previous video on the hero's journey. Be willing to explore and keep up your faith that the way will reveal itself to you just as the sun rises in the morning. Because when you show commitment, you become like a magnet and pull your desires and opportunities to you. You have to make the jump and then keep taking the next logical steps or intuitive steps and then the next ones and then the next ones. Don't be hard on yourself that you don't know what exactly will happen. This is not your job to know. Your job is to commit and to keep taking the right steps until you reach the finish line. And then until you even see the finish line, in a distant view and then make a sprint for it. This will surely get you towards your goals or even somewhere better that you could have never imagined. Arthur C. Clarke wrote that all human plans are subject to ruthless revision by nature or fate or whatever one preferred to call the powers behind the universe. All you have to do is know where you desire to go and course correct your plans on the way to get there with better and better plans. Now, if you do not have a clear direction yet, you don't know exactly where you want to go, then you of all people must take action to try out different options that interest you. You can write down a list of life, different life courses that you um, see as optional for you, that appeal to you. And then choose three out of this list, if you have a long list. And then for these three options, take the first steps towards moving you in the right direction for the accomplishment of these goals and see if you enjoy the process. Then when you find the direction that you like the most, commit to it and plan ahead and take the right actions and so on and so on. When you take on any constructive action, even for a, a smaller goals, uh, health or fitness goals or financial goals, just take the next right step and continue on the path. In my online gorilla diet program, every week a new plan is laid out to follow. Then you follow through with it and build on it the next and the following week. Just as in life, things build on each other. Past experiences give you the knowledge and self-esteem to take on new and improved projects and so on. A person doesn't make it to the finish line with all that the finish line holds in, forms, uh, in form of meaning, elation, and success without going through the whole run that comes in between. So, as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with uh, three questions that you want to ask yourself today so that the answer to these questions will help move your life to a better place for you. And these questions are, what are my next steps to fulfilling my dreams? And what plan of action can I make just to make sure that I'm headed in the right direction? And by when will I take these actions? Always ensure that your actions are leading you in the right direction. Making a weekly plan is great. And then revise it if you need to during the week. 
This is the way to ensure that you are always headed in the right direction for you. As usual, I recommend writing these questions in a notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions, so that you can make sure you are always headed on the right path towards your fulfillment, happiness, bliss, and success. Now, the affirmation of the day to finish this video off with is, I live my life as an exciting adventure that leads me to my goals. I live my life as an exciting adventure that leads me to all of my goals. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And please also visit my website, thegorilladiet.com to help you move your health and wellness to the best place possible for you. Thank you very much.